Hello and welcome back to the Anime Club, the club where we talk about anime that we've been really watching, viewing and enjoying. Let me know what you've been recently watching and enjoying, and if you see what I'm about to talk about, let me know the comments what you thought about it. I was starting to fall in love with One Piece, from East Blue to Alabaster to Sky Island. I had a blast. It was a fun journey, and I loved it. But after watching Water 7 and Annie's Lobby and this whole arc, I get it. <laughs> I, I get it. <laughs> like, I... Uh, I understand the hype. I understand why this show is placed at the place where it is. I understand why people love these characters so much. I understand One Piece. Like, I am so excited now to watch the rest of it and find out and discover more arcs like this. Because, oh my god, this was brilliant. This had so many character moments, story and plot moments, reveals, brilliant fights just i was honestly gripped like i uh, sky island was good i enjoyed it but it not not one part of it gripped me from the moment the crew entered water 7 i was i was hooked this 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 town was brilliant i loved the concept of it i loved just the people in it iceberg and, and all the crew who uh, are working at the docks and stuff like that i loved all of that but then to start getting little hints of stuff you know robin leaving the the mary's just not in a good state at all and the heartbreak of just all of that getting introduced to frankie and going through the fight with him and the fight with all, all his bros and then Usopp wanting to leave the crew. Oh, what, what a just moment that was. Usopp v Luffy. I did not think I was going to be watching that ever. No, no, never mind anytime soon, just ever. I didn't think that that was going to be a thing that existed or happened, but oh my god. I was honestly like impressed with Usopp. Usopp is probably one of my lesser favourite characters out of the crew. But he held his own so good, and honestly, towards the end of the season, I love him now. I love, well, I love Sniper King from Sniper Island. I just, all of that, love it. But anyway, off the bat of that fight, we had the CP9 reveal. I mean, <laughs> I just, like, get it. I'd, thing is, is because I knew that... Lucci was gonna fight Luffy in some manner because I'd seen in a recent episode from like the new like what is currently coming out in the anime I saw that they fought again. So I was for ages like How do the how does how is this guy bad? You know, I don't, I don't get it. He's just he's just part of the the the, the ship makers I, I don't get it then the reveal that they were the ones who like tried to take down iceberg and, and all this that was insane followed by the train from Water 7 to Annie's Lobby. What a journey that was. Like, Sanji, what a badass. I, I like Sanji, but he's not had that many moments, in like, uh, Skype here at least. This one, when he goes full detective mode, they're, they're all getting ready to leave the, by the train, and he's just there, lighting one up. Oh, it's so cool. He literally takes out, like, what, four or five carts on the train of people, and then just the moments of, like, Zoro cutting a train in half. <laughs> what? Oh, and then we arrive at Annie's lobby, and the all out war that ensues at Annie's lobby, I just, from start to finish, like I said, going back to these moments, the moments that they have in Annie's lobby are things that I will never forget, like Usob shooting down the flag of the, the, like, the military flag. What a moment that is. When, when the whole crew is stood in line looking at cp9 getting robin finding out robin's backstory which is just heartbreaking get in the line from robin of i want to live like i watched one piece in dub and that is an incredible incredible piece of voice acting like the scream and just everything is oh it's so good and then following that the fights that we have the the gear two gear three I didn't think I was going to be seeing Gear 3. I like, I sort of knew that this was the, the place where Gear 2 came in and, and the pose and, and everything like that. And I was so excited for it. 
But to get Gear 3, I, I thought I was going to have to wait like another 100, 200 episodes for Gear 3. How have I already got Gear 3? I love seeing the developments of Luffy and just the whole crew as well. The first time that Zoro has had like an aura around him and he's done nine sword style. Just the developments of the crew are absolutely brilliant. I love seeing just them like showing their abilities off and just showing how absolutely skilled they are. And just even like down to then the ending pit bit where Luffy and Luchi have had their final showdown he's won but they're surrounded by ships only to be saved by the going merry for one last time the goodbye to going merry gave me such goosebumps on like from everything like the snow falling the lighting the flashbacks to memories of the crew being together the the lines that all the all the crew say what a just i never thought i'd be so sad about a boat and, and I was it, uh, I, I didn't realise how much of a journey I'd already been on until that point and I was like damn I'm already invested in One Piece aren't I I'm already here uh, it was just so good to so then even the, the, the smaller moments after Annie's Lobby discovering about you know Luffy's granddad I already knew about it because the live action for some reason told me straight away but to see it like read on here and then also get the real reveal about Luffy's dad and that he's this like big menace of a guy and we actually already met him back in Logtown. I was like, I didn't even realize that. And then also getting to catch up again with Shanks and Whitebeard. That standoff's incredible. I love anything with Shanks. I, I, I just, what an incredible character. Just the aura that guy has. The, the fact that like he was making people pass out because of, well, they, they said it was a, a hacky, hackai. I don't, I don't know much about that yet. I'm excited to learn about that. But that was cool. That was insane. That whole bit, brilliant. And then also getting the final, final piece of the puzzle, Frankie joining the crew. I, I really like Frankie. At first I was so confused because like he, well, I suppose he does the same thing as uh, Robin. He starts as, as, as against the crew and slowly works his way with them. But, um, I really love Frankie. I think the humor he brings into the show is, in general, I like his vibe. I think he's just going to be an absolutely brilliant, brilliant addition to the crew and I can't wait to see um, what more they do with him and, and where this crew goes next. I think it's Thriller Bark next, which I'm not massively excited for because everyone says it's a bit of a filler type skip one. Apparently nothing happens. That's all I've heard. People just keep saying, yeah, nothing happens. Nothing happens. I, I don't get it, but... Um, Nevertheless, I'm excited to keep on going because just what a show. What what characters, man. I, I, when I first watched the live action one, I didn't love Luffy. I was like, he just seems like a bit of a side character to the rest of the crew because he's not got much going on. But the anime is just a different story. I love all of them. Like, I, it's actually impossible to, to pick a, a, a favorite. Chopper, is he's, he's up there. At that moment, I didn't even talk about that. Chopper going like beast monster mode and that. The fights in this were, were just brilliant. I love the layers and the levels of it. I like just seeing all the crew bring something different. And yeah, what an arc. I feel like I have seen something that I will remember for a long, long time. And I, I'm so happy that I watched it. <laughs> but anyway, what did you think of War 7 if you have seen One Piece? And I will see you next time on the Anime Club.